Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Rosetta. So if you don't already know, Rosetta is the translation layer which allows you to run Intel applications on an M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I'm recording this on my M1 MacBook Air 2020 and I'm going to show you how to uninstall Rosetta from this machine. I'm going to be using this method which I'm going to link to in the description. It's basically a post by this user on the Apple developer forums. If you don't have Rosetta 2 installed already, you can look at the manual method in a different video that I've made. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Now, there isn't actually much practical utility to uninstalling Rosetta because once you've installed it, then it's only really active when you're running an Intel application. However, I'm going to show you how to do it in order to do some testing and also see what the computer is like without Rosetta running. So the first step I'm going to do is shut down the computer. I'm going to press the Apple button here and click shut down. So the next thing we're going to do is disable SIP. So when I've got the computer shut down, I'm going to hold down the power button here. I'm going to wait until these startup options come up on the screen. So it says here, continue holding for startup options. And then it's saying loading, so I can let go of that part now. So once this option menu comes up, we're going to click options here and continue. So we're going to select the user of the computer and press next. Then we type in the password. And then what we're going to do is go to utilities and click terminal. So once I've got the terminal window open, I'm going to type in this command, csrutil disable, and press return. I'm going to type in my username, my password. So when that's complete, it'll say here, system integrity protection is off. Now I can restart the computer. So I'm going to go to the Apple logo here and then press restart. So now I've restarted the computer. What I'm going to do is to run this command so I can see which files need to be removed. So I'm going to paste this back into terminal and press enter. And then I'm going to locate these files, which I need to remove here. So what you need to do is to click on the finder window and then click on the go button here and then click go to folder. And then you can type in the path forward slash library forward slash and press go. And then I'm going to sort this into a list. And then we can see here what we need to remove is this file here. So library forward slash apple forward slash user forward slash lib then the librosetta aot.dui lib. I'm going to control click on this and then click move to bin. Then I'll type in my password. Then I'm going to go back. Then we're going to go to the user folder and then libexec. Then I'm going to delete this libexec folder, type in my password. Then I'm going to go to share folder and then select the Rosetta folder here and then control click on here and then press move to bin. Type in my password and press OK. So now that those files have been removed, we can simply open any Intel application and it will prompt us to install Rosetta. So for example, I'm gonna click Evernote here and it's gonna tell us here that we need to install Rosetta in order to open this application. So it's prompting us here. So we can successfully see that Rosetta has been removed from the computer. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you did make use of this tutorial, please leave a comment. I'm quite interested to hear why you actually want to remove Rosetta in the first place. For me, this is just an experiment to see what the computer would be like without Rosetta. But if you have an interesting valid use case, then please leave a comment. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video.